Hello, welcome to this video of the Honda Civic 1.6 turbo diesel. This is the October the 23rd, 23rd of October 2013 registered vehicle. This is the uh, turbo diesel of course and it's a zero tax group here in the UK. So one private owner and Honda dealer registered. So this vehicle was registered by the Honda dealership uh, for about 18 months and uh, they used it, I think one of the staff used it and then the current owner up to now has owned it ever since so just one private owner and honda dealer registered and used okay let's get straight into the action with the uh, condition let's start on this wing mirror the wing mirror let's go nice and close up so you can see we're not trying to hide anything and if there is any imperfections uh, we will obviously point them out to you like always on our videos okay the front screen very clean you can see the front screen very clean uh, no major chips or anything is there a little yes there's a very minor surface scratch just there on the windscreen to report very minor uh, that front wing very clean alloy wheels all very tidy nice in this black gunmetal silver color 205 55 16 uh, tires as well and the tires are really good and the tires for the front all the arch liners are nice and clean as well. All the plastics are clean on the arch. This uh, bumper corner, immaculate, very clean. LED daytime running lights at the bottom. LED lights there. All the plastic for the headlights are nice and clear. This one's got the normal headlights, so cheaper for the bulbs if they ever go. You can see the Honda dealership. Uh, number plates there that was registered crop by this corner is nice and clean as well there's no scratches or scuffs on the corner of the bumpers that headlight very clear the bonnet is in good condition there's nothing major maybe the very very slight um, paint chip uh, lacquer chip there on the bonnet very 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 small and that's it nothing major at all this wheel, of course, very clean as well. Got the locking wheel nuts on as well, locking wheel nuts, and that tyre is very good also. And the arch is all nice and clean. The plastic trim is immaculate, there's no scratches. Front wing, very clean. No dents and scratches on that one. Uh, the windscreen this side is immaculate. This is the original Pilkington windscreen by Honda. This original windscreen. Uh, this wing mirror. Very clean, however, a very, very, very light. Just there, look. A light scratch there, very, very light. Just make you aware of that. That door's very clean. There's nothing on that door at all. It's very clean. The rear door. That rear door is not bad at all, but it looks like it's had a little, little, I don't know what that is, maybe another car or a shopping trolley has just tapped it at one point and we can just see a very very small uh, little imperfections there on that door that is it so I'm showing you everything this uh, wheel arch is very clean there's no damage on that wheel arch alloy wheel once again very good and the tires I think the rear ones are quite new actually they are very chunky on the bike this panel here is immaculate obviously the fuel filler and up here there's no damage all immaculate uh, the good thing about this car is every panel, the paint does look the same shade. There doesn't look like anything's uh, out of shade at all on this vehicle. It's a spider there. A spider off. That bumper corner, very clean. It's also got these small mud guards as well. So that's very clean, that bumper there. Same with the uh, boot lid, that's very clean. And the bumper there, that's very clean also. And the plastics. On the top of the lights, all they're nice and shiny, the plastics are not scratched. The lights are nice and clear, no condensation, no algae growing at the bottom, etc. So very clean. That bumper corner, very clean once again. That panel, immaculate. And all the way up there as well. And the roof, absolutely immaculate as well. That alloy wheel, very clean. And the tyre is like new. This rear door, very clean, but apart from a little, you see there right in the middle of the screen, it's a scratch there, 
to report. Very, very minor one there. Hardly noticeable, but I have to make you aware, because that's our job, to make you aware of any slight imperfections whatsoever. That driver's door is immaculate. Nothing on that, and the A-pillar plastics are nice and clean as well. Okay, uh, yes, okay, that's the car outside, covered. So that's the outside covered. Let's go into the boot. With the boot, okay, you can tell this is being looked after. So it's got a plastic Civic liner. So that's a Civic one, a Honda one. Uh, it's also got the little bit there as well. So it reaches right into the edges. If we lift this up, take this, take this out, take this out. So you've got the carpet there, which is obviously immaculate because that cover has been in there all its life. Uh, all the sides are very clean as well. It doesn't smell of dogs, it doesn't smell of smoke. But a lift up variable boot floor. Inside there we've got the tyre inflation kit, emergency kit there. Uh, so this is a variable boot floor, so you can... Let me just let me just move this, because this is velcro in. That's a velcro tyre kit. Put that there, and then that drops like that. Okay, so that's a variable boot floor. So I'm going to put this this velcro tyre kit back in there and then there we go that makes it level again pick up the uh, Civic boot liner which fits in easy as that and all that's one handed so how easy that is right the plastic there look let's go slowly across that make sure you're happy that that's not damaged etc and the edge of the bumper as well that's in nice clean condition. The parcel shelf is all in place with the uh, cables as well. They're all there. They're not snapped and missing. Up here is nice and clean. Make sure you're happy with the edge of the tailgates. There's no rust developing or anything like that at the edges. It's all nice and clean and also around the edges of the uh, tailgate shut there. All immaculate as to be expected. This kind of mileage, 37,000 miles, very, very low. Okay, this door, same again, condition, very clean, nothing out of the ordinary on the interior. It's got the velo seats as well, so it's the soft feel velo seats, so it's not cloth, it's velo. Uh, the back of the seats are very clean as well. We've got some brand new car mats coming. So this one didn't come with any car mats. So we've bought some brand new ones, they're in the post now, coming towards us. So they will be here by the time we get here. So electric rear windows as well. That's got the child locks as well, child safety locks just there. All this area is nice and clean, no rust anywhere developing at all. All the door shuts are nice and clean, not scratched. No trap seat belt marks this side. Uh, a free rear headrest, three rear seat belts, and it's also got the child Isofix anchoring points as well as. So you can have two children's seats uh, with the Isofix anchoring point. Back of the seat's very clean. All down the footwell, the plastic there as well. Let's go right close to that, make sure you're happy. Speaker grills have got no dirt in them or cracked. And the door shuts, as you can see there, immaculate. Front door. Front door, again, immaculate. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. Even down in the bins there, nice and clean. Speaker grills. Door shuts absolutely immaculate. Airbag on and off for the front seat, so you can have a child seat there if you wish. Obviously, the seats have got side airbags as well for the safety. Uh, the door shuts here and the rubber trims. Look at the rubber trims there, they're not worn or faded, and there's no uh, trap seat belt marks on the door shut there. Absolutely immaculate. That's the chassis number plate there. So, I don't know if you want to freeze the video now and uh, check the chassis number etc uh, it's even got a paint code there as well paint code so that's all the information on there all this area is nice and clean no scratches like the glove box there it's all immaculate no children have been kicking the glove box etc it's all clean and all this is immaculate oh the door closes superbly as well it's shut that very lightly and it just closed easily so uh, that's a good sign driver's door Four electric windows, central locking, that's the child safety lock for the windows, electric wing mirrors as well. And uh, let's look down here. 
all nice and clean. Let's put plastic down here. Nice and clean. The sill there. Very clean and the door shuts immaculate. All the way up to here as well, all immaculate. Right, driver's seat. Nice condition. Okay, uh, foot pedals as well there. Foot pedals there. Uh, and then the uh, area there, the plastic there. Some new mats coming for that. Let's get in. Inside, let's have a look. What have we got? Let's start from top to bottom. So the top, you've got this display there for the radio and the mileage down there, 37,776 miles. 20 degrees today here. You've also got a digital speedo there. And then down here, you've got the rev counter, the temperature gauge and the fuel gauge there. So we've got just over a quarter of a tank of fuel. Diesel, of course, you've got the economy button there, that green button for economy. So that makes the uh, stop start kick in more and obviously, not as high revving or responsive so it's a safe fuel uh they've got the standard cd fm am radio there uh it's also got the aux and the uh what's it got the aux button there the setup uh and then we've got here climate control which is the one uh single zone should we say so just one temperature setting so you can't have it sided uh, stop start button down at the bottom let's kick that off look at that gear lever that's thirty-seven thousand miles look how how clean that is absolutely unbelievable usually on these they scratch with the rings if anyone wears a ring just scratches it as if that's like brand new that bit there okay then down here you've got your 12 volt you can see 12 volt there it says maximum 120 watts output uh, and then here you've got a sliding shutter door for the drinks holder immaculate again it all works as well the handbrake lever center armrest as well lift that up and you've got all this here aux usb and another 12 volt so this has actually got a usb so there's a usb input for your music what else have we got okay a uh, computer up here a volume switch track up and down a menu switch as well uh normal headlights this one it hasn't got the automatic headlights so it's the normal ones uh then we have got down here look two remote control sense locking keys obviously has to be expected with just one private owner uh so that's good to know what else? The best part, the best part of this vehicle. Let's get all the documents out. Fully invoice service history. That is what you want. Obviously, the first few years were the Honda dealers, and uh, obviously the last few years was a specialist garage. Uh, so it's all there. I've, I have mentioned them in the uh, took photos of them. They're all there, fully invoiced. Okay, fully invoiced. Uh, MOT certificates from before and new ones as well. So that's the new one. That's the expires 10th of the 5th, 2025. Uh, and the last one was last year, which expires October. So we didn't need an MOT. But as we know, all people that buy cars want new everything. Everything new. We don't care. New. If it's got eight months MOT, I want a new one. 12 months. So put a new one on. Uh, so the old one expired, or was going to expire in October 2024. Uh, so we put a new one on, which expires in uh, May 2025. You can see the mileage as well. 36,200, 37,000. So it's on 1,200. No, it hasn't. 1,500 miles. 1,500 miles between their MOTs. Put a brand new one on. So we've got the service book as well with all the stamps in. They're all there as well. So good to know. And the book pack and the locking wheel nuts and some spare nuts as well. Some standard ones as well. And the glove box there. What else have we got to show you? The under the bonnet. So let's go under here. So you've got the traction control light down here. Uh, sorry, light switch for traction control on and off. Now you're thinking traction control, what do I do with that? Well, sometimes, not always. Say for example, you're driving up the road and it's snowing. You've got your traction control switched on, which is normal. Uh, the grip from the front wheels where you spin is slightly different with the traction control off. So it may be an advantage to switch that off uh, and try to go up a hill uh, in the snow and you'll feel it might be better, okay? Not always, but sometimes it does work. Because that's another trick if you didn't know about the traction control light. That's what it does, or if you're stuck in mud or on a grassy bank in the, in the summer and you seem to be wheel spinning all the time because your traction control is on, because it's very sensitive. If you turn it off, it's the old traditional two wheel light your lawnmower thing. Right, okay, so under here, 
exceptionally clean, 37,000 miles, beautiful engine, uh, timing chain driven engine as well, so no rubber belt to maintain on these. Uh, obviously being diesels, there's no spark plugs to change either, so a very low cost in maintenance car. A nice battery there, a Vartra brand as well, a branded one, that's good. Uh, all the plastics, absolutely like new. Like new. Very clean. And underneath here, the bonnet, that's clean as well. Around the edges, you can see it's all nice and clean. Okay. Even right down there, if you look down there, top of the gearbox, it's all relatively clean. Right, so drop the bonnet again. This vehicle can be financed up to five years, yeah, because the mileage is low. This can be financed up to five years. It does come with a one year warranty as well, with a warranty company. So it's nationwide coverage. And this will be obviously, uh, if in the event something should break down, and it's covered under the warranty terms, it will be obviously uh, you take it to the nearest Honda specialist garage to your home. You don't have to bring it all the way back to us this vehicle will be covered under the warranty uh, to the nearest garage at, for your from your home location okay delivery service as well anywhere in the world we say in the world we've delivered cars to uh, australia america uh new zealand we delivered a new zealand we delivered a land um, we got a last of the old defenders new zealand so yeah anywhere in the world we can deliver um not a problem Okay, so uh, any more questions, please let us know. Part exchange is well welcome, so if you've got a part exchange, please let us know the reg number and mileage and we'll give you a valuation based on today's live auto trade evaluation system. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope to see you soon then. Thank you, for, thanks for watching.